The race to the bottom is a socio-economic phrase which is used to describe government deregulation of the business environment, or reduction in tax rates, in order to attract or retain economic activity in their jurisdictions. An outcome of globalization and free trade, the phenomenon may occur when competition increases between geographic areas over a particular sector of trade and production. The principal effect and intent of these actions is to make labor rates more competitive i.e. lower, the principal cost of business, together with other factors pensions, environmental protection and other externalities, and thus the metaphor where the bottom is the lowest wage that can be paid for that labor. <laughs> History and usage The concept of a regulatory race to the bottom", emerged in the United States during the late 19th and early 20th century, when there was charter competition among states to attract corporations to domicile in their jurisdiction. Some described the concept as the «race to efficiency» and others, such as Justice Louis Brandeis, as the «race to the bottom». In the late 19th century, joint stock company control was being liberalized in Europe, where countries were engaged in competitive liberal legislation to allow local companies to compete. This liberalization reached Spain in 1869, Germany in 1870, Belgium in 1873, and Italy in 1883. In 1890, New Jersey enacted a liberal corporation charter, which charged low fees for company registration and lower franchise taxes than other states. Delaware attempted to copy the law to attract companies to its own state. This competition ended when Governor Woodrow Wilson tightened New Jersey's laws through a series of seven statutes. In academic literature, the phenomenon of regulatory competition reducing standards overall was argued for by A. A. Burl and G. C. Means in the Modern Corporation and Private Property 1932, while the concept received formal recognition by the U.S. Supreme Court in a decision of Justice Louis Brandeis in the 1933 case Liggett Co. v. Lee 288 U.S. 517, 558 to 559, Brandeis's race to the bottom. Metaphor was updated in 1974 by William Carey, in an article in the Yale Law Journal, "'Federalism and Corporate Law – Reflections upon Delaware", in which Carey argued for the imposition of national standards for corporate governance. Sanford F. Schramm explained in 2000 that the term, "'Race to the Bottom' The term has also been used to describe a similar type of competition between corporations. In 2003, in response to reports that British supermarkets had cut the price of bananas, and by implication had squeezed revenues of banana growing developing nations, Alastair Smith, international co coordinator of Banana Link, said, the British supermarkets are leading a race to the bottom. Jobs are being lost and producers are having to pay less attention to social and environmental agreements." Another example is the cruise industry, which registers its ship with flags of convenience, circumventing wage requirements, and other expenses required by developed countries, thus providing the business model for the industry. The term has also been used in the context of a trend for some European states to seize refugees' assets. Topic: 
Environmental policy The race to the bottom has been a tactic widely used among states within the United States of America. The race to the bottom in environmental policy involves both scaling back policies already in place and passing new policies that encourage less environmentally friendly behavior. Some states use this as an economic development strategy, especially in times of financial hardship. For example, in Wisconsin, Governor Scott Walker decreased state environmental staff's capacity in order to accelerate the approval time for a proposed development. Pursuing a race to the bottom philosophy in environmental politics allows states to foster economic growth, but has great consequences for the environment of that state. Conversely, some states have begun to pursue a race to the top strategy, which stresses innovative environmental policies at the state level, with the hopes that these policies will later be adopted by other states. When a state pursues either a race to the bottom or a race to the top strategy, it speaks to its overall environmental agenda. See also Notes Topic. Further reading Grandy, C. 1989. New Jersey Corporate Chartermongering, 1875–1929. The Journal of Economic History. 49 677–92. DOI 10.1017 S0022050700008810 JSTOR 2122510 Cockeriglu, Kagan, March 2008. A comparative bibliography: Regulatory competition on corporate law. Georgetown University Law Center Working Paper. DOI, 10.2139, SSRN.1103644. SSRN 1103644. McLean, Bethany all the Devils Are Here, The Hidden History of the Financial Crisis. Portfolio. ISBN 1-59184-363-4. Vogel, David. 1995. Trading Up, Consumer and Environmental Regulation in a Global Economy. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-90084-7 External links Definition from the Financial Times lexicon "'Racing to the Bottom' in The Economist Bacon, David. February 3, 2003. Anti-China campaign hides Macquillara wage cuts. Zmag.org. Archived from the original on September 29, 2007. Harnell, Robin. March 2000. Houston, we have a problem challenging globalization. Z Magazine. McClear, Sheila. March 2005. Race to Bottom for Garment Workers. Z Magazine. Archived from the original on February 21, 2014. 
Yablon, Charles M. The Historical Race Competition for Corporate Charters and the Rise and Decline of New Jersey, 1880–1910", The Journal of Corporation Law 2007.